Hey, good morning, everybody. Sunday morning. This is Becoming a Habit. Am I going to do this every week? I don't know. But I actually have something to say this week. It's not just about reporting, you know, my progress or anything like that, not telling you how many steps or what I ate or any of this thing. There are some things that I've seen on the Facebook. Facebook weight loss groups where I think everybody in the YouTube that was in the YouTube community that's kind of where they spend their time now and they don't even spend a whole lot of time there but there were a couple things that made me jump up and take attention because I've made a number of videos about the scale and the scale being my friend in this and then there's other people who think the scale you know they just don't even want to go there they don't even want to touch it because they're trying to it's it's more about the healthy choices they're making and, and really turning this into a lifestyle instead of the number. And I believe in both. I, I, I believe this, this scale keeps me at bay, but the number is not the end all be all. And why I'm bringing this up is it seems there are a number of people who think it's the end all be all and they're willing to do extreme things to get to a magic number. And that is ridiculous. It is absolutely ridiculous. And when you think about that, especially, especially the guys out there who are lifting weights, who are doing P90X, who are, you know, and who are incredibly active. The number on the scale is bunk. So, I mean, there isn't a magic number. And I'm going to prove this right now. It's very easy for me to do because I have over four years of footage of myself. So um, I wanted to show this to you. Does a pound equal a pound even to you? The number is bunk. It's, it's baloney. It's stupid. Stop thinking about it. Stop obsessing about it, and then and then doing extreme things to get to some number that doesn't mean anything, uh, because the way you look, the way you feel, your glow, your swagger, your attitude—that is what's important. So I'm gonna I'm done putting off what I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show it to you now. I, I took a video in April 5th of 2009, and on that day, I weighed 221 pounds. I was very excited because. Well, you know, a few months back, I weighed, I was I was knocking on the 280-pound door when I started. So, of course, I was very excited. This morning, I weighed in at 221 pounds, which, yes, I'm excited. It's a 2.2-pound loss, but that, that kind of takes away from my point. Because you look at me now, look at me from 2009, the exact same weight. Do you see the same shaped guy in front of you? Do you see... Does the guy from 2009 look as fit as the guy right now? Same weight. So, I, I, I and I'm sorry, I'm, I, I know I'm getting a little excited about this, but but I, I, it's if that is not enough proof that the scale, although I, I do, you know, I still use it, it is a tool that, that it's a very immediate, so I understand that. But it should not be the end all be all. And if you do obsess with the number and, and you make that make you do like extreme goofy dehydration, starvation, whatever, it's you know, the, the number in, on the scale has nothing to do with the way you look, with the way you feel, with your attitude, all that stuff. So I just wanted to leave you with that. Anyway, yeah, I did lose 2.2 pounds uh, last week. Uh, I am going to talk in a few weeks about more in more detail what I'm doing. Um, from from that standpoint, and yes, yes, I, I am using weight as a measurement of progress, but the difference is I'm not obsessing about it. Uh, as a matter of fact, you know, I know I got below 200. I don't think I even want to approach that anymore because I'm a little more muscular now than I used to be. So anyway, I'll leave you with that. I hope you guys have a wonderful, 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 wonderful week, and maybe we'll see you next week. I, I, it looks like we're making a habit out of this. Have a great one.